Hello everyone and welcome to another update news video where today guys I'm going to be telling you guys the um, fixes that have, that have been made for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So please do a like and subscribe if you guys are new and let's get to the fixes. So the first things are for crashes and performance. So they managed to fix several crashes that would occur during gameplay. Fix several crashes that could occur when loading into a world on Nintendo Switch, even though the Nintendo Switch version of the update has not come out yet. Um, placing a compass and locator map in the crafting grid no longer causes the game to crash. So that's apparently been fixed if you guys were having that issue. Uh, it also fixed an issue crash that would occur when travelling through another port with another entity. So that's pretty interesting. Fix the crash that would occur when converting a world with fireworks equipped in a crossbow. Ooh, that's an interesting one. And it also fixed the crash that would occur with occur that with raids on converted road worlds. And finally, for the fixes, uh, fix the crash that would occur when loading the extreme speedrunner marketplace world on PS4 and Xbox One. Okay, cool. Now let's discuss the general fixes. So the first one was the classic skin choices no longer revert after reloading the game. Fixed .mc world .mc template files not importing on uh, devices running iOS 13, so that's iOS. Fixed the Little Big Planet world and textures not being usable if the game was installed from disk. Okay. Fixed issues with the Chroma Hills texture pack not loading on Nintendo Switch. Split screen players can no longer be left in a limbo state when joining the game while the primary player quits the game. At the same time, okay. Really quickly, gameplay guys. Projectiles can now be shot through the gap between two honey blocks. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. And player can no longer bounce when being pushed and pulled by honey blocks and pistons. Okay, cool. <laughs> next, the next category, guys, is mobs. So they fixed an issue that prevented mobs from spawning under transparent blocks. That's interesting. Uh, <laughs> Uh, bees no longer fly in and out of a beehive or nest that is on fire. Minecraft Pocket Edition, I'm guessing. Fix Tane's wolves not breeding by increasing their breeding priority. Okay, cool. Tamed parrots sitting on the player's shoulders and now transitioned after world conversion. Okay, cool. Fix pillagers not attacking players after world conversion. Okay. Fix players not um, obtaining bad omen when killing a pillager captain after world conversion. Ooh, okay, cool. So the next few things I'm gonna run through together are items, user interface commands, and add-ons. I'll run through the final few of them all at once. So tridents no longer bounce continuously on the sides of honey blocks. Honey bottles could now show the proper item tooltip. Underride shulker boxes now retain their color after world conversion. And the user interface, a, conf a confirmation prompt now appears if purchasing rounds on Nintendo Switch, because that's out on Nintendo Switch. It's not out on PlayStation yet, guys. Hopefully it will come soon, fingers crossed. Um, fix an issue that will cause detector overlap when using different window to resolutions in the marketplace. Bee height and bee nest now have proper textures when placed with the dash set block command. Defining an execute location no longer breaks the detect argument. And for the add-ons, they, they fixed an issue that would prevent behavior pack animations from working on Android. The sensing component used for ranged attacks now calculates the view direction like it used to, to making it so mobs can see their target on the Y-axis. And they also fixed an issue that was preventing players from being teleported and rotated smoothly. And they fixed an order on off the on exit and on entry events being reversed in animation controller state transition and finally guys local space for particles attached entities will once again inherit the locator's bone like, rotation so yeah that's the new up patch for and also guys they added the super circuit texture pack so yeah that includes HD textures free HD skins and glowing mobs thought I'd add that in right at the end of this video Seems pretty interesting. Hopefully a lot of these fixes will continue to be improved over the next few months, guys. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited to see 
this version get more updates and improved. So yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you guys in the next video or live stream. Goodbye guys.